Alright, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to import the Daisy Stanlow map, aka Trinaris Plus, into RMF3. So you might be wondering why you would want to do this. Well, I suppose first of all, you can cruise along the coastline in uh, one of these modern looking hybrid cars, if you want. I mean, I don't personally really like this paint job, so I wouldn't do that, but uh, if you want, or pretty much any other RMF3 vehicle, since you have the editor at your disposal, you can now do that. Kind of a big disclaimer though is that uh, if you do die as a unit in this, you'll be uh, laying dead on the floor and you won't be able to do anything. So you can't respawn, you have to actually close out of your game. At least I haven't found a way to respawn. But uh, yeah, close out of your game and start it up again, so that is a kind of a big disclaimer right there. Second thing that people use this thing for is uh, you can actually get into camera mode. So this allows you to do a few things, you know, do pretty cool cinematics. like. In your world. But uh, the other thing is, uh, if there is a new experimental patch, you can just pretty much fly straight to that. You know, you have to download the new patch, of course, do this thing, and uh, then you just fly to the new location and you can show it off. Yeah. So there will be a written tutorial in the description. Uh, you're gonna need Armor 3 as well as Daisy Standalone for this, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get to it. Right, so now we're on my desktop. Uh, I use Windows 7. I think it's pretty much going to be the same on Windows 8. I just don't know for sure because I don't use it, but uh, yeah, let's get to it. So you want to get to your uh, DAISY standalone folder. The easiest way to do that is just to go to your Steam library, click on properties over DAISY, local files, and then browse local files. So once you're there, you simply copy the add-ons folder. Then you want to go to your Free folder, so that will most likely be in the common Steam folder. By default, this is going to be under C drive, Programs 86, Steam, Steam Apps, and then Common. But ultimately, you can just go to Arm of 3. I mean, this is all going to be in the same folder. Shouldn't be too hard to find, but yeah. Arm of 3, Local Files, and then Browse Local Files. I mean, it's going to be in the same folder as I already mentioned. But uh, yeah. Once you're in the Arm of 3 folder, what you want to do is create a new folder in there and uh, call it whatever you want, actually. For simplicity, I'm just going to call it at Trinaris. Plus, you gotta make sure that there is an ad in front of that, because it's gonna be sort of like a mod, so, yeah. Once you've done that, I can find it. Yeah, so then you want to open that, and uh, paste the add-ons folder in there. Now, this might take a few minutes, it's uh, about 9 gigabytes. Uh, I have an SSD, so it's gonna be a tad bit faster. In the meanwhile, you could do something productive, or, uh, you know, watch a YouTube video. I got a lot of those, so you could watch mine, I suppose. Right, so when that's done, uh, you're going to have to delete a few things from this folder. At this point, you can already start it up, but uh, there will be a few issues. Primarily, when you spawn in a unit, it'll probably look like you uh, met the wrong end of the train. So we're going to go into the add-ons folder and uh, search for UI first. There's uh, four categories of things you have to delete, so the easiest way to do that is just to search for all of them. So the first is UI. Under this, you just delete everything that pops up, so just going to press delete. There we go. Second thing is modules. Now all of this will be listed in the description also, but searching is the easiest way. So every module file, just delete that. There we go. Third thing, characters. I think in total this is about 28 files, just delete all of those as well. And then the last thing is pond. So what this fixes is uh, a graphical error. If you keep this in, uh, you have like a black line at the horizon. It's uh, well, not really too great if you're doing cinematics, so I'm going to get rid of these as well. So once that's done, uh, we're nearly there. We're going to go back to Steam. We're going to go to Armor Free Properties. So we want to launch this quote-unquote mod we've created. So what we do is we go to Launch Options. Those are some other launch options that I have enabled. But uh, what you want to type here, and this will also be in the description, is dash mod equals at Chernaris. Plus, which is what we call the mod. I mean, if you call it something else, you uh, probably want to type that here. Once we've done that, we uh, simply launch a game. So it's going to be preparing to launch. Now we got this new thing. This is pretty new. I haven't actually seen this like way before. But uh, we just press play, and then we're nearly there. It's going to pop up with this thing right here. Uh, this is an error, but just click OK, and it should still launch. Right, so now we're in the game, we're just going to click on close all right here. So yeah, as you can see there is two UIs stacked on top of each other. This is kind of botched, but it does work. So what we want to do is go to the editor, which is right here. 
then you'll see three new maps so the first one is sample test free map if you open this one it'll crash your game so don't do that the second one is a tad bit more interesting is the uh, sample ramadi map so we're gonna go ahead and open that now this is a uh, test map that seems to update every now and again so we're gonna go ahead and spawn in a unit just double click then what we want to do is create a trigger for the camera mode so this is a trigger right here. On activation, you want to copy this little uh, code line that will be in the description, but it's player execute camera SQS show cinema borders false. So basically, spawn a camera and don't show any cinematic borders. Then we want to toggle repeatedly, and we have to enable an activation so we can activate it. It's pretty straightforward when you get down to it, but uh, we're going to call it radio alpha. So basically, what you got to do to activate this is just press 0, 0, and then 1 on your keyboard. That's Radio Alpha, and it'll go into this camera mode. So we're going to go ahead and preview this, and just click Close All right here. So yeah, we're on a uh, little test map right here. So we're going to press 001. Now we're in a cinematic mode. So yeah, this is a test map, as I said. Uh, there's a flying ship right here, a fucking flying lighthouse right there. Pretty interesting, right? Um, this map has actually changed over time, like way before when I did the old tutorial of this, which has uh, disappeared with the ages. It's like buried below the ground, like that thing right there. But yeah, there uh, was a prison complex already here. It just didn't have any textures. So now it does seem to have textures right here. And it's buried below ground for whatever reason. But yeah, other than that, there's uh, a scrapyard out here with some broken down home V's. Uh, it's like a thing right over there, which is like a castle tower. Some interesting landscaping. And a flying lighthouse, as I already said. So yeah, that's about it. Maybe every now and again you'll be able to find something interesting here, but uh, that's about it for now, I think. I don't see anything more interesting. But uh, I suppose the main thing is Trinaris Plus, which we're going to go to now. So we're going to exit out of this one, close that, go back to the editor, go to Trinaris Plus, and this is the Trinaris Plus map. So something about ponds, we're just going to click OK. So... Let's go to the prison island, I suppose, and spawn in a unit again, do the same thing, so go to triggers right there, spawn in a trigger, just paste that line right there, um, I mean, normally you would be able to save this as a mission, it just does not seem to work, so you're gonna have to do this manually every time, but it's a pretty simple script, just paste that right here repeatedly, and then go to radio alpha, click OK, and preview, here you go, now we wait, again, close all, then simply zero, zero, 001 on the keyboard, which seems to fill every time I try and press it. No. There we go. Okay. So we press L to get rid of that dot right there. Um, under controls in Armas 3, the camera controls are bulldozer controls, which I think is in like dev or something. You can't do that right here because you can't actually get to your controls. So you're going to have to start up Armas 3 separately one time without launching this mod and just change those controls to your liking. I mean, you can spawn the same script in the editor number 3 and just figure that out. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Anyways, we're on a prison island right now. So, yeah, you know, if there's something new on a map, you can show that off, you know. Uh, this was new at one point. Not so much anymore. But, yeah, you know, create cinematic angles, you know. Recreate Shawshank Redemption. You can do whatever you want, basically. Yeah. So now I'm going to fly back over to the coast. But uh, that was pretty much it, so yeah, you can drive along the coastline if you want in uh, super modern cars and crash them, but then you die and you won't be able to do much of anything. You might be able to use this in multiplayer as well, but again, not entirely sure about whether or not that's going to work properly. As I said, it is kind of botched, so the main thing is probably cinematics, which I've heard a lot of people, well, a lot of people told me they use this for cinematics, so get on them. Have fun creating your cinematic shots in Daisy Standalone. But it's actually armor-free. Yeah.